we were going to have around a 200 person wedding out there. And that was supposed to be in September and um, COVID hit and they were like, we can maybe get 50 people. It's a situation we've heard time and time again. Brides having to rework wedding plans due to COVID in many cases more than once. Amy Steigerwald is speaking to one bride finally walking down the aisle this weekend. Jessica Tunison is one of many COVID brides. Brides who have reworked their wedding plans one too many times. Her original wedding was planned for September of 2020 in Aspen, Colorado. Instead, she's having a backyard wedding here in Ohio this coming weekend. While it's not her original plan, she and her fiance knew they wanted the full wedding reception experience. You know, no dancing, you know, only same household at the tables. And we were just like, that's, it just wasn't what we wanted. Not only are the former 2020 brides like Jessica finally getting to walk down the aisle, so are the brides who originally had their weddings planned for 2021. Now, 2020 left a lot of brides simply just tossing their dreams out the window and rescheduling to 2021. And now with double the amount of brides walking down the aisle this summer, florists are extra busy. Beautiful Blooms by Jen in Sylvania is providing the flowers for Jessica's wedding, one of many this upcoming weekend. Owner Jen Lenahan says she's been careful about how much work her staff is taking on this summer, not only due to demand, but also flower shortages. There are just shortages of everything because so many farms have it like didn't make it through COVID or um, so it's just gonna be a really, really weird wedding season. So we've just been having to turn down so many, which is so sad. Like many in the wedding industry, Jen is trying to keep things as simple as possible for brides like Jessica who have already been through so much. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of little things that, you know, we didn't we didn't even expect. Jessica, though, is just happy oh, sure. to finally be saying I do. In Sylvania, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.